Okay, so we got a bunch of NPCs that have been coming out and are out, and there's a better way to update everything these days. So as you can see here, I came to here and I went to uh, here and I'm in the NPC hardware is right there, right? So as I'm here, these are all the new NPCs, which is the NPC Key 37, NPC One Plus, which of course both red, and so Akai means red in Japanese. It's actually Akai, Aka, and then Akai E, I is the E in Japanese, it's called Akai for us. Anyway, that's why they're red. And they're probably making a different thing now. It's 40 years since the beginning of Akai. So you gotta realize they're trying to do something new here. And they've done a lot more than just make NPCs here. They also have a better way to update your NPC software. And I'll come down here to my menu here. You'll see it here. And this is the In Music Brands Software Center. I click on this right here. And as I do, you see it's connecting, getting lined up. And this is a better way to update everything. And you're gonna see that here. Welcome back. I have been here for a while. This is cool. So I come to here. I think I'll go big time with this. Oh, there we go. I like this big time thing. As you can see here, there are updates. So I've already updated my MPC uh, 2. And I can go here and press open. It opens up my MPC right here. And of course, I can come to here. I can collect, I can check for actually uh, updates. So I'm gonna go here to check for updates. Updates, okay, it's cool. So I go to, okay, that's good. And to approve it, I'll just come here to about NPC, and then you'll see a latest version, which here, mine's uh, 12.13. Uh, that's cool. And we'll click on that, and it's closed out. Now I wanna go back to my um, in music brands thing here, right? So I've got NPC beats also as well, I use for some things. So I may come to here and update. And once you do, you'll notice here, it's starting to update. So even if I have my NPC 2 software up and I press the same thing and I see update, this is an easier way to update your software using the In Music Software Center, which is so much easier. Now, not just for that. You see as I scroll down here, I have a lot of stuff. I got the fabric collection. Um, I have here also a hybrid. I have Jura right here. There's an update for Jura now, which I didn't know until I went to the in music software center so it's good to open it up continually at least once a month hopefully i do mine like once a week and find out what the latest update is i tend to do it more than that because now we've got so many npcs and they're updating all these softwares that match up with these machines and it's important that something might happen this is the fourth anniversary so i have no idea what they're doing this year but they're doing a good job with that npc key 37 everywhere they're sort of pushing it hard and they weren't even at NAMM so they're ahead of the game by out there marketing their item rather than being in there for the show because they didn't show on the internet and it's nothing new actually so normally when they do go to NAMM it's a brand new device so here we go as you can see here update let's go back up to here it's still downloading there it's 51 percent but you can say I can come to here I may want to download this one Jura I come to here and start to download the update for this. This is an update for that one. I keep scrolling down. I can install this one, the organ, the stage. I can install these on my computer activated. So um, they should be on my computer, but I'm going to reinstall those probably too also as well as time slips by. But I can come here on the left-hand side. I can click hardware, right? And I have a whole bunch of hardware here that I've had, I've used already. And then stop, run, right, for the hardware right there. You can see I have this one too, so it tells me what to do with that. I have my expansions here, and it sees all my expansion packs. And I can, they're already installed here, which is kind of cool. And I can use any one of these. I also have all software. So this all software thing includes a lot of different stuff like baseline, uh, BFD, BFD player, core. We got the drum synth, we got electric, fabric, so it's all in here too as well. And so this is really good. Then we got free software. So it covers everything that we've got here that we can use for the Akai software. And we got offers here too as well. You see offers for stuff that it's selling. You can redeem certain things here as well. Three months splice, I can redeem that. We got, uh, what's this, Reason, get six months free. So there are a bunch of offers in here too, which I'm really not really into. I've got most of the real soft, big software here. And of course, there's three months free splice instead of already. 
and I don't see anything else. This is just the same thing over and over. It seems like redeem, 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 and codes, all that kind of stuff. Oh, NPC access says here. This says NPC live here. I'm gonna do that too. We can grab this and fold these things up. I got here NPC one, fold that up. NPC one plus, fold that up. And NPC one offer. Oh, nice. Your choice of complimentary plugin. I already redeemed that already. So I always want to see if I have an extra one here. No, copy the clipboard. Redeem. Oh, I go to redeem. It takes me right over here to where I can redeem it. Whoa, kind of cute. But I already did, so I can't do anything about that. And so let's go back over to our in music brands. And so this is how we use in music brands. Plus, there's support down here as well, too. So the whole idea, of course, is to get up in here and try and figure out what's going on. Click on support. Here's our support page for the Akai gear. So in music brands covers everything you need to know. Now, also, you may have bought something new. And I've got a little video here, too. I'm going to show you next. Now, to show you how to use the in music brands site to actually make sure you can download the in music brand software. That's coming up next. Hello, welcome back to the InMusic Brands support channel. In this video, you'll learn how to download and activate any software that comes included with your InMusic Brands hardware. I'll be demonstrating this process using the software that's bundled with the Akai MPK Mini Play MK3, but this tutorial will apply to other hardware from Akai and Alesis that use the InMusic Software Center. First, make sure your hardware is registered to your InMusic account. If you haven't already done this, check out the two video tutorials linked in the description that will show you how to create an InMusic account and how to register your product to it. So you can see here on the product registrations page that I have my MPK Mini Play MK3 registered to my account. Next to your hardware, click View Downloads, then open the InMusic Software Center drop-down menu. You'll see two download links for the Software Center installer, one for Mac OS and one for Windows. Click the link for your computer's operating system. Keep this browser window open and logged into your InMusic account. You'll need to access it again later. After the download finishes, on Mac OS, double-click the downloaded zip file to extract the InMusic Software Center application, then double-click it to begin running it. And when prompted, move it to your Applications folder, and the program will automatically start. On Windows, simply double-click the downloaded .exe file, and the Software Center will automatically install and open. Next, you need to log into your InMusic account in the Software Center to authorize and get access to the installers for your software. Click Let's Go, and a new tab will open in your browser. Since you're already logged into your InMusic account in your browser, click Continue, then Accept. And now your account is linked with the Software Center. Next, the Software Center will guide you through the setup wizard. It'll first ask you to connect your hardware to your computer, so do so with your product's included USB cable. If you see a button on this page that says Redeem Software, click it and wait for the confirmation pop-up before proceeding. On the following pages, you'll be given the option to choose which pieces of included software you want to install. Any software that is recommended will be checked by default. For the best experience with using your hardware and software together, we suggest keeping these checked. Plus, if you're anything like me, you'll want to take advantage of all of your products included software, so I'm going to select all pieces of software. Once you've made your selections, click Done, and the installers for your selected software will automatically begin downloading. Primary pieces of software, including applications and plugin instruments, can be found in the My Software tab, while sound packs and expansions are in the My Expansions tab. Once the installers have finished downloading, simply click Install to begin the installation process. We recommend starting with installing apps first, then plugin instruments and expansions. Now, just follow the installation prompts to get your software installed on your computer. Note that some pieces of software, like plugins, may require additional steps for authorization. Check out the links down in the description for more info on the specific processes for your software. To access more tutorials for InMusic Brands products and a portal to reach out to our technical support team, visit the InMusic knowledge base at inmusicstore.com forward slash support. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.